most important about a museum is that it is in sync with a city and its culture and it's also inviting to people. Art is very much a part of life, especially in India. Art is in the drape of your sari. Art is in the beautiful rice patterns that you draw on your doorstep. Indians have always been connected with the arts, but that connection seems to have snapped. And we are very keen on re-establishing that connection and making art both relevant, enjoyable and exciting for everyone. The map collection is unique because there's such diversity in the range of objects that it has. The nucleus of the collection comes from Babishek Poddar, who is the founder of the museum. He donated 7,000 objects to MAP, and that inspired a whole lot of other patrons as well to gift artworks to MAP, and the collection is now at around 60,000. We've loosely divided it into six categories. There's pre-modern, there's modern and contemporary, there's textile, craft and design, there's living traditions, photography and popular culture. But MAP's collection really wanders off in several different directions. It is maybe an archivist nightmare, but it's a curator's absolute delight. Some of the earliest objects we have is perhaps the Brahmani from the 10th century. We have the pre-modern collection, we have miniatures in the collection. And then we have what we call living traditions, which is normally understood as folk and tribal art. This episode of Surpanaka really is part of the Ramayan folios. And it tells the story of Surpanaka, who is the sister of the demon king, Ravan. We would like MAP not just to be a repository for objects. We really see MAP as a space for ideas and conversations that we initiate through the collection. One of the interesting objects that we have is this beautiful brocade skirt. And more than the skirt, it's the lovely stories that it has to tell both about the owner and the makers. The skirt was created at the time when India was struggling for independence. You see these patterns of these swirling vines and beautiful sunflowers, but when you look closely at the sunflower, you can actually see a picture of undivided India in the center. The British at that time were clamping down on any expressions of the desire for freedom. So these were very clever ways in which people could express their intentions and a way of spreading the message. Reconstructing Venus would be very familiar to Western audiences because the artist Shantamani actually references the painting done by Botticelli, which shows the birth of Venus. Venus, who is the goddess of beauty and love. What she does is she just deconstructs the whole picture and it's broken up into several pieces. We are really looking at the male construct of beauty and the pressure that women face to always stay beautiful and young forever and the complete lack of ownership that they sometimes feel over their own bodies. The largest holdings we have are of photography from the 19th century right up to contemporary times. And most museums do not have photography as part of their collections because these were not recognized really as art forms. So I think that is a special area for MAP, especially because today with the mobile phone, everyone is clicking photographs. It's something that people connect to and relate to. We are perhaps one of the few, if not the only museum that has popular culture as part of the collection. And when I say popular culture, I mean things like Bollywood posters, lobby cards, film scripts, advertisements, calendar art. And the idea is actually to go beyond the existing or the old school of categorization that existed and to find newer narratives. Because what we're trying to do is to collapse hierarchies between what is perceived as high and low art and to look across the collection to draw interesting connections. We really want to democratize art and to change the experience that people have with the arts, to take art into the heart of the community. We want to make this an exciting cultural hub where they learn something and they enjoy doing it. I hope Bangalore is as excited to greet us as we are to open our doors to them.